Welcome to my channel, I'm Scott. This video is my 10,000 subscriber special. I'm going to show you my current portfolio. I have a few different accounts, retirement accounts, investment accounts. So I'm gonna go through them one by one. And I also have a couple of businesses and a house. So I don't dedicate all my money to the stock market. So first we'll start off with Facebook. So you can see I bought Facebook in 2017, 323 shares. It's up 72%. Whenever I'm unsure which stock to buy, I usually buy spiders. So you can see I bought 420 shares in 2017, 11 shares in 2018, then 7, 4, 1, 2. Overall, I'm up 59% in spiders. PDP is an Invesco ETF, and I bought 197 shares in 2018, then 31, then 3. Let me show you what that is. These are the top 10 holdings in this ETF. Apple is the biggest at 3.2%. I purchased one share of Berkshire Hathaway in 2017. That's up 39%. I paid $262,000 for this stock and it was well over $300,000. Then the market crashed. You can see it's at 257,000, so it was below the price I paid, but I held on because I knew this is a good company. Now the stock is trading at its all time high. My only strategy is to find good stocks or invest in ETFs and hold long term. Unless you have inside information, I don't know how it's possible to figure out when a stock will go up or down in the short term. In the long term, good companies go up and bad companies go down, generally speaking. Of course, anything can happen. There's been great companies that went bankrupt and terrible companies that became great companies. This is a smaller retirement account, and the only thing I've invested is VT, Vanguard Total World Stock Fund. You can see I put money into it every now and then. It's at about $37,000, and it's up 38%. These are the top 10 holdings. Apple is number one, then Microsoft, Amazon, Facebook, Tesla, Alphabet. The U.S. is a little more than half the portfolio, then Japan, China, UK, Canada, and a bunch of other countries. When the market crashed in March, I took all the money out of this portfolio and put it into silver and gold and put the rest in cash. Silver's done really well, up 89%. Gold is up 6%. As I felt more comfortable with the stock market, I put more money into spiders every few months. When they started talking about a silver short squeeze, I put sell orders in for silver. I usually don't put in sell orders, but I did this time. Half the portfolio is selling at $40, the other half at $80. If silver gets up to $40, the proceeds will be $120,000. If silver gets up to $80, the proceeds would be $240,000. And this is the last account I have. I bought Apple in 2019 and a few times in 2020. The average return is 70%. I bought XLY in 2018. That's up 40%. Amazon is about 22% at XLY. Tesla is 17.5%. I also have 181 shares of spiders in this account. I bought it in 2018 and 2020. I bought IWR in 2018. This is a mid cap ETF. And these are the top 10 holdings. I also bought 37 shares of Amazon in 2020. And last is a 7% Credit Suisse bond. I really appreciate everyone who has subscribed and watched and commented. I can't believe I hit 10,000 subs before 10 months. So let me know what you think. Give this video a like, subscribe, or comment below. Also, if you'd like to get a custom valuation or just support the channel, you can become a member by clicking on the link in the description below. Thanks for watching.